the altar is made, offerings are given, and Jehovah lifts the plague. And that is all, folks. That is the wow, murderous killing spree of not only Jehovah and his messengers, but also his prophets. And, you know, if you really want to get some uh, loving, kind wisdom, I would very strongly suggest um, it's not going to be found there. You know, you might want to search in the, uh, in the Vedas or you know, search within yourself with meditation and be the person that you want to be and serve yourself and others the way you want the world to be because we can all change and make life better for everybody one person at a time and this ain't it no i've thought a lot about our journey through this and i've said several times in our discussions how has this became basically the world religion i mean it muslims same thing as christianity jews it's the same thing it's, it's all based on this book especially where we're at right now it's like all right there's nothing spiritual here there's nothing that makes you a better person there's nothing to give you any moral questions on what does this book give it gives wonderful justifications for war and destruction of other people so why wouldn't this book go through the masses as the one true religion because it gives leaders or people in power or just psychopaths a reason to go kill someone else because this book gives great justifications of killing other people and this god jehovah sanctions it in many cases he was a mil yeah military tactics yeah so what is what is it about this book I don't think anyone should read this if you want to get closer to what you think of as God or the universe. This book should be read with the only intent of this is how the masses have been controlled and this is how the masses have been led to all these different wars, death and destruction and pestilence. That's what this book is about and that's the real moral of it for you, me. You know, whenever you read it from the beginning to where we are now, it has been a big struggle for me personally because I want to not only continue to be a better person and live better and set good examples for the people around me. And there's no nothing in the Bible thus far that gives any wisdom and instruction and practices on how to do that. And it's been ultimately very disappointing and saddening that that's the case that I haven't found a Chrome yet. No, not even a crumb. So anyway, that is where we are. Mr. Schmidt, sign us out. All right. If you like us, subscribe, hit that bell button, and have a good day.